Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Latitude. Let's check out this model. It's pretty neat. There's actually two different model groups in here. So this one is on the Latitude side. We can see we have all the Latitude models. This side is actually going to be the Atlas portion of the home, but we will get to those ones later on. We're starting right here at the Plan 4. This one is 2,666 square feet. It's a four bed, three and a half bath, lounge, great room, two car garage. And it starts at 441, exactly. So $441,000. Now do me that huge favor, hit the like button if you are enjoying these tours. Make sure to subscribe. I put videos out every single day. Let's get into this one. So a little bit about this company. They just changed their name. They were formerly Par D, but they just, all the subsidiaries of TriPoint, they all changed their name. So now this is known as TriPoint about two weeks ago. Also, like I say in all of my new tours, if you are thinking about buying a new home, you wanna see a new home, don't fill out information online, don't go into the sales office because the builder will not let you be represented. If you have questions about that, all my info is down in the description below. And one question I always get asked is, as the buyer, you do not pay the commission, the builder does. So definitely keep that in mind. So this is kind of cool. So you can do bedroom four and bedroom five in lieu of lounge. I'm guessing this would be bedroom five instead of the lounge. This is pretty cool. So another thing real quick, HOAs over here are $47. No master plan or anything like that. It is non-gated. I like this, this is really cool. I know a lot of people will probably turn this into like an office space rather than this. I know it is Vegas, it is pretty cool. But this would be the fifth bedroom if you wanted a fifth bedroom. Again, I know so many people right now they're working at home, do know that they have the plants. I like this table, I like this setup, but again, I feel like with everything going on, most people, unless you get the fifth bedroom, will probably turn this into like a sitting area, reading area, office. Coming back in, right here we have our, wow, big coat closet. I love the flooring in here. That's our two car garage. And we have our downstairs powder room. I guess bath four in lieu of lounge. So they put a bathroom somewhere in here too because you would need the shower if you were having the bedroom down here. Now again, there's a lot of upgrades here. They upgraded the counters. They upgraded pretty much everything. There's probably close to $100,000 in this home, if not even a little bit more. Only strange thing, it's really pretty though. And I guess it's because of powder room. I would hope that if it was the downstairs bathroom, they would give you a medicine cabinet, but I'm guessing that's why. Really, really nice. Let's come on in. I love the drama. So I believe these are like eight foot or 18 foot ceilings because they're nine foot on each floor. Before we check out all of the prettiness downstairs, let's go ahead and head on up. Now, again, if you have questions about anything you've seen in this tour, any other of my tours, all my info is down in the description below. I'd love to answer any questions you might have. So they obviously upgraded the railings, but let's check out this bedroom first. So coming into the first bedroom. So the nice thing is these are nine foot ceilings. It makes the room feel a little bit bigger. It's a, ooh, it's an ensuite. I'll turn around here in a second. So three nice size windows. It's a decent size room. That's a full size bed. There are two nightstands. You could probably cheat it a bit and maybe get like a small desk in there. I like that window. So big, big two door slider. There are four windows in this room, a lot of glass. But what's really, really cool is the fact that you have an ensuite bathroom here. And again, it's kind of strange. I know I've always said it before about the medicine cabinets and here and there, people will say they're not necessarily, I guess, in vogue anymore. Do you use your medicine cabinets? I'm curious. So this is a fiberglass composite tub shower combo. I love that they used 
Is it the black or oil rub bronze? It looks like the black hardware throughout the house. But what's nice about these tubs is they're actually really easy to clean. There's no grout, but nice size tub. We have our toilet and then again, just back to our vanity. It's really cool sink and faucet, but I'm just gonna check. So there's standard bumpers. You can always go to Lowe's or Home Depot and upgrade after purchasing. They do have the ability to upgrade the uh, cabinets. This is what I was talking about, how they have the upgraded railing and banister. Normally it would just be a uh, pony wall. Before we head into the master, oh, you know what? I want to spin around really quickly. It's a cool view. Let's head in to the next bedroom. Where does this lead to? So coming all the way down the hall, we get to the next room. And again, not a bad size room. One big window, full size bed, two nightstands. Now this one's wider. It's actually probably a foot wider than the other room we were just in. It's a bit bigger, but it is not an ensuite. So you gain some, you lose some. That other room was a little bit smaller, but again, it had its own bathroom, which was pretty nice. You have your two door closet slider. There's room for a dresser. And again, they have the plant. It's not bad. This is actually a pretty nice size room. Coming out, let's check out this door right here. I'm guessing linens. Yep, we have our linen closet. And if I spin directly behind the linen closet, we get to our upstairs bathroom. Now again, this is upgraded flooring, upgraded countertops. There's quite a bit of upgrades. I do like the sinks. The faucets are really cool. Again, no medicine cabinets. Huh. I know I'm usually always on the soap niche kick, but again, do you use your uh, medicine cabinet? And I'm also curious, because I've noticed this in other, I guess, TriPoint now, formerly party homes. I kind of appreciate this, you know, kind of hidden compartment where they hide the toilet, but it almost feels a little claustrophobic coming in here. I almost wish the wall ended like here, just because it, it I don't know. You'd have to see it to understand it. I know it's always difficult when you see it on camera since it's the wide angle lens. You have your toilet area and you have, again, same tub shower combo, fiberglass composite material. You have your shower head, you have your valve and your tub filler. I wish they would put the soap niche or like a shelf or something. I know you do have a little bit of area right here, but I'm more concerned on this one. Well, not concerned, just perplexed why there's no medicine cabinets anywhere. I'm curious if the master has some med medicine cabinets. What a cool chandelier. This is obviously Be Beyonce's room. So full size bed, nightstand, kind of a cool desk. Just one window on this one. Now this is kind of the opposite shape of the last room we're in. It's longer than it is wide. How cool, I'm just gonna pan up really quickly because I know some people, they just watch the tours just for inspiration. I love this chandelier. Now they're not gonna put lights in the room. They're gonna give you a pre-wire cap so you could put whatever lighting fixture you so choose. But there's a good amount of room at the end of this, this room. Again, two door closet slider. It's just the layout of it. I think the other one would make more sense Let's keep the tour going. So coming out, we hit our laundry. Is it on the sensor? No. So we have upper cabinets. That's an upgrade. They do not give you the washer and dryer. They don't give you the fridge. This is kind of cool. I doubt they actually give you the folding area. It's not a bad size laundry room. This is for all your Cat6 internet connection if you were wondering what that was for. It's not bad. I wish my laundry room was this big. Mine's pretty small. But if we continue on in, let's check out this master suite. And it is really nice. Cool. Let's, why are the lights on? Very cool chandelier. 
I love the fact that there's such big windows and there's so much natural light. So two big uh, nightstands, a king size bed, you have the bench. Your views are incredible. It's been so rainy and weird out lately, but you can see the mountains. Ooh, while we're here, this backyard has a pool. So average home out here for new build is around 400, a little bit higher, 1,000. So keep that in mind. Average backyard to build, to do it yourself is around twelve to $15,000. Now, if you have a pool spa heater, add an additional 45,000 on top of that. No questions asked. This even has some like fountains out there. So that's probably at least, there's no spa though. That's probably at least a $45,000 pool, if not a little bit more. This backyard probably was about $100,000. We pan around. I feel like you, it needs like a chair or like, like a love seat or something like that. But really nice size master bath. If we continue on, oh, well, I guess I spoke too soon. You have like a little nook right here. So I think you can even get extra benches or not benches, excuse me, cabinets. I've seen that done before in other models but nice size closet. Again, what you can always do is move one of these bars up, add a second bar and shelf, and you get another third. But really, really nice size closet. If we keep spinning, we get to our master bath. Hmm. Okay, let me know what you think about this because this is the upgraded shower. Usually you get separate tub shower and I don't know if it's probably fiberglass. This has like the spa shower. It even has the rain and it has the regular shower head. I love the fact that they put the handles, the valves over there. It makes so much more sense. It even has a bench. It's a very, very nice shower. I'm just perplexed because there's so much room in this bathroom. I feel like the door should have been here and the tub should have been here even. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you even use a tub anymore? I know if I asked my fiance that she would flip because she loves her baths, but it's just, I don't know what you would put here because you can't really put anything here because the door opens there, but there's a lot of space. We continue on, wow, big mirror. But again, same faucets, same sinks, same cabinets. No medicine cabinet though. Huh. And we have our toilet area. Just because I'm gonna back up. Look how much space is right here. It's a very open bathroom. I feel like not the best use of space. Again, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I do love reading everyone's comments and what you guys have to say. So again, Make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really, really does help out the channel. And if you are liking these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Let's go ahead and head on downstairs. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. So, love the living space before we check out the kitchen and dining. So three big windows over here. It's really, really nice. They do give you the pre-wire cap up in the ceiling where above the, um, the coffee table would go. So if you wanna add a ceiling fan, but it's an open space. It's very, very large. It's really nice actually. We check out over here, should be the pantry. Nice size pantry, really nice size, oh. Very nice size pantry. So plenty of storage in the pantry. I actually really like the pantry here. I, I'm liking this house. Just a few little things, but other than that, before we check out that really nice kitchen, ooh, I like those countertops. How cool are these lights? The chandeliers in here are really cool. So they have an eight person dining table here. And I'm just gonna walk around it really quickly to see how far it comes over here. I feel like it would have been really cool if they, I don't know if they have the ability, but extended the cabinets all the way down. I mean, you have a lot of counter space and you have a huge, 
huge pantry. I just know that a lot of people always like that extra space. I feel like it might be just a bit tight here, especially with the bar stools, but again, you have all of this space over here. Hmm. Not bad. Now, really quickly while we're here, this is the upgraded slider on this side of the community. If you buy a house on the other community, which is next door, they give you that slider. That's the eight foot slider. The standard one on this side is the four foot, or excuse me, the six foot slider. They do give you the overhang in the island. And I'm gonna pan real quick just because it's cool. They gave you the white with the gray vein here. And then they did a two tone here. So these are like the same exact ca uh, countertops in all the bathrooms. They did the backsplash. Again, almost everything you see in here is an upgrade. So you will not get the fridge. They'll give you um, oven, microwave, uh, what is it called? Not garbage disposal. of course they give you that. The dishwasher. They even did the underlight. They will give you the 42 inch upper cabinets. Now these might, maybe, maybe not be the base cabinet since they have the hardware on them, but this is a nice kitchen. Really nice kitchen. So I believe this is the standard stove for this, these models. They're actually really nice. They're giving you GE appliances throughout the homes over here. So GE, it's kind of a two up and you get your five burner cooktop, you get your stainless steel microwave and then, I always like to check, it does vent outside. So you have some more, you know what? I always like to check this one. It goes all the way to the ceiling. And this is why I tell people when they're going through their home walkthrough, make sure to open up everything because sometimes when they put these cabinets on, they'll actually leave marks on the ceiling. So definitely when you're doing your final walkthrough, open up everything, test everything, look at everything before you take possession of the home. They even give you, I'll show you in a minute, but that's kind of an interesting spot for it. We have our stainless steel dishwasher, some more cabinetry. Now I believe this is gonna be the standard sink, double basin, they do have different options for sinks. They did like the same exact faucet, but just a bigger one, kind of cool. And then we even have, oh, I didn't notice this. There's an overhang right here as well. So you could fit six bar stools at the island you almost don't even need the table with how many seats you can do this there's a couple builders out here that are starting to do this overhang on the side too i'm really a fan of it i'm going to spin really quickly back over again just because i kind of feel it's an odd place to put the phone line right there the phone jack rather than like there i don't know let me know what you think i know a couple of you comment that you still have landlines i haven't had one in a little while but if we check out this backyard, again, make sure to set aside or at least budget for a backyard. With an HOA, they give you six months to complete it. Now, if you're doing a pool, they understand that you might need a longer time. It's a pretty shallow, um, like, sitting area. <laughs> you're almost in the pool. Again, average backyard, call it 15,000. This is probably, uh, maybe, this is maybe a $75,000 backyard because the pool, landscaping, everything, give or take. Again, let me know what you think about this one. If you have questions about anything you have seen, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. Love to answer any questions. Again, don't forget once a week I give out Amazon gift cards. So stay tuned for another one. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.